Not to take shots. Guys, okay, listen. For as biased as I am, apparently, towards Israel, I really have tried. I really have tried to give the Palestinian side the benefit of the doubt over and over again, but I keep getting shot down on it. It keeps ending up not being it, okay? <laughs> or it's like, okay, f*** me. I shouldn't have been charitable in this case. Um, I don't like, I don't like this guy at all. Um, um, yeah, this guy is a massive propagandist. Um, I don't, I think he's, I don't want to say evil. I need a name for people that cause harm, but they're not maybe like evil people. But I think that, um, oof, it's also difficult to speak on some of these issues without sounding racist. Um, even if the language is like normal for the region, like when I speak about Arabs as an American, after doing all the Israel-Palestine stuff, I, I feel like it's reasonable. Like, oh yeah, these are Arab states. Arabs believe this in general. Arab people believe this. But like in the West, when you say Arabs, it just sounds like super racist. Um, but I think that like, I feel like uh, Bassem just has, what is it? How, how do you pronounce it? Is it Bassem Youssef? This guy has like um, what I would call or what, what appears to me to be as like the standard Arab Muslim viewpoint of Israel and Jews which is Jews around the West, they're pretty f***ing evil. Um, Palestinians are largely just victims of Western imperialist Israel. And then all of, the, all of the things that follow from that, like the hardcore slanting of everything in favor of, of the Arabs and the hardcore slanting away from uh, the Israelis or the Jews, even if there's like stuff to be said about both sides. And um, yeah, he just does that verbatim. I don't know if it's because he's attractive or if it's because he's attractive and very charismatic. He is, a, he is an incredibly charismatic speaker. Like when you look at him and you listen to him speak, he's captivating. He speaks English very well. He's good word choice and strong diction. And he, the, the way that he speaks with the combination of like humor and seriousness, and how, like he is a re, he's really good at that. But um, the, the content is just garbage. <laughs> It's propaganda trash. Um, yeah. His eyes are ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know if there's, there must be like some correlation with, um, or I don't know how the genes run together for like eye color and skin color. Cause it feels like black people or darker skinned people almost always have brown eyes, right? Are his eyes blue or are they just really hazel? I can't tell. Do you think it's maybe a publicity stunt for his entertainment career? Um, uh, maybe a little, I don't know. He was an extremely famous comedian in the Middle East before he moved to the U.S. Oh, did he actually move to the United States? They are green, right? They might be green. Could you possibly talk to him about Israel-Palestine? If he wanted to, this would be an amazing guest for Bridges. Where's Erudite? I think you should say Middle Eastern Arabs or something. Like, people from Indonesia are also Arabs. Is that true? I have no idea. When you get into Asian people, that are Indonesians considered Arabs? Indonesia, Javanese. <laughs> Is this a real thing? Am I getting trolled? Maybe he meant Muslim? Austronesian? Okay, stop. We're not going. I'm not. Okay. That's it's like a whole world of shit I have no clue about. Can you explain why Biden thinks it's okay to threaten and condition aid to America's longest ally and only democracy in the Middle East just because an accident in war happened with the WCF? Explain how that's logical. Well, if you are an Israeli person, or if you're a Jew, and you've studied history, especially of your own country, you would know exactly how that's possible. It's because in a democracy, you have to win the votes of your people. If your country is doing things that are threatening our leaders and their ability to maintain office, you're going to lose support in your country. That is something that every democracy around the world, Israel, historically, has always had to uh, struggle with, is that when you're losing popular support amongst your people, you have to redirect your policy accordingly. So if in Israel, you guys are conducting warfare and such a way that you're not satisfying the international or public or at least the U.S.'s desire to see that you're striking people responsibly or if mistakes are happening that they're absolutely unavoidable and you're failing to do that, then of course you're going to start to lose aid or support from a democratic country because there's there, it, it, that's it's always going to happen that way. Yeah. Destiny, so you meant that Biden is only doing this to cuck to Muslim voters in Michigan, not because it's the right or logical thing to do. Politicians in a democracy are not supposed to do the right or logical thing, okay? Conceptually, a democracy is supposed to be the expressed will of the people of a country. It's not technically supposed to be up for a politician to decide what that will should be. The politician's goal is to act 
enact the will of the people. So if the will of the people changes because of whatever reason, then the job of the politician is to reflect that change in will, not to buck it or to fight against it. If he does fight against it in a, in a democratically elected society, if the leaders do fight against the public, then they lose. And then you get another leader in who will do what they want. That's how democracy works. So you agree that conditioning aid to Israel is not the right thing to do personally? from like a moral or like, do I agree with it? I mean, it should always be conditioned. I don't necessarily know if like the recent strike on the aid bans is like something that's like so horrendously beyond the pale and blah, blah, blah. I mean, like obviously it was a horrible, tragic event. I don't think Israel is intentionally killing aid workers like some seem to say, but that doesn't matter. You have to keep in mind that at the end of the day, you have to recognize that your democracy, the Americans uh, have a democracy and we're going to act democratically. And if you do things that cause you to lose support from your allies, uh, the populations of those allies in a democratic elected country, you're going to lose support. That's the reality of how politics works. Jews used to understand this. You used to know this a long time ago. OK, you should learn it again. Yes. The accusation I was talking about say that the White House is involved with the left protest leaders in Israel. OK, I'll click this later. We haven't even gotten to our first clip of the day yet, okay? Do you think that Muslim voters in Dearborn and Hamtrak are going to abstain from voting or vote Republican? I don't know. I haven't even seen the breakdown of the numbers and the ages and everything yet. So you're against the FDR, you're against FDR supporting the allies before the people wanted it? I mean, in a democracy, yeah, you have to follow the will of the people. Or you lose elections. That's it. That's how it goes. You can just, I mean, to be fair, you have a little bit of pushback on them. Like, leaders can lead as well. But mostly, you're going to be held captive by whatever the window is of, of how you're public wants you to act. Yeah, that's a democracy. That's how it works. What the fuck do you mean? Good luck. They should expect it. So you want to do nothing while Israel gets attacked by Iran? Yeah, of course you would do nothing. What do you mean? It's a retaliatory attack. Israel attacked Iran. Iran is going to attack Israel now. To Yeah, obviously. Why the fuck would we intervene? Israel attacked Iran military commanders because Iran funds Hamas. What the fuck are you talking? I can't tell if you're like a troll or if you're, you're actually like a super ultra Zionist, pro-Zionist guy. I don't know if you're a troll or not. Iran attacked or Israel attacked Iran military commanders because Iran funds Hamas. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know what I don't know how any of these statements connect. What the fuck are you talking about? You named a factual thing and then you said, what the fuck are you talking about? If you attack a country, they're going to attack you back. That's how it works. Israel knows that. They're ready for it. They should be ready for it. That's what happens. Destiny has woke on too far, but hit 2 million views. Oh, my debate with Aaron. I'm going to email you on the American Israeli military political meddling conspiracy shit. So you can debunk it. No, just post it on my subreddit. I'm not debunking that shit. Don't email me shit about Israel Palestine. Please stop. Stop. Your subreddit is the most militantly moderated. Please consider a different news source or light in the moderation. For I don't think we moderate any news out of here in a bad way. I think getting not getting rid of all like the individual stories about an individual attack that people don't want to push as propaganda. I think is a fine. I think it's fine. You will get more views if you support Palestine. Why you prefer to support Israel? Really wants to know. Why would I? Why do you? Okay. Are you specifically looking for news relevant to the things you're already talking about? Because that's probably what the sub will give you, no? Uh, a little bit. I just don't know what other subreddits are even worth. Most subreddits are horrible.